What's up, Cal gang? All right, so we got this pretty complicated problem here. So we have a landing craft that's in orbit, and it gives us these constant numbers, basically, and the period of orbit is that number. Uh, the astronauts in the lander measure the diameter of the planet to be that number, and the lander sets off at the north pole of the planet, and it wants to know what is the, the mass of the astronaut. So, there's a lot going on here. We're gonna need to use a lot of different equations just to find how much a guy weighs. So, let's do that, right? So when we're looking at how much somebody weighs, we're going to use the equation force is equal to mass times acceleration, right? And if we're looking at our gravity, it's going to be gravity, right? So force is what we're trying to find. We know this mass, we're trying to find gravity, right? We need to find gravity to figure out this equation. So our gravity equation, gravity is equal to the gravitational constant times the mass of the planet and then divided by the radius of the planet squared. So, what do we have here? We have the gravitational constant, we know that. We have the radius of the planet, we have the diameter, so we can figure it out. But we need to find the mass of the planet, we don't have that yet. And how are we gonna find the mass of the planet, right? This is gonna be kind of complicated, this is gonna be a hard problem. Well, when you see that a question has circular orbit in it, you're never gonna take that for granted. You always know that you're gonna be using your circular orbit equation whenever you're doing it. So, what is the equation for a circular orbit? Well, we know that the velocity of an orbit is equal to the square root of the gravitational constant times the mass of the planet divided by the radius, right? Now let's look at this. The velocity of the orbit, we could probably figure that out. We could find the radius, we have the gravitational constant, and there's n, that's what we're trying to find, mass of the planet. So we want mass of the planet just so we can figure it out of this equation. So let's move it, everything over. So we're gonna take the square root, or we're gonna square both sides to get rid of that square root. And then we're going to multiply this radius over and divide by the gravitational constant. And we're going to get r velocity squared of orbit divided by g is equal to the mass of the planet. So now we need to find the velocity of the orbit, right? Velocity of the orbit is also something we can figure out, but it's going to take some more work. Basically, doing this problem feels like you're getting sidetracked over and over because you're like, I need this equation, I need this equation, then I go to this equation, I need this equation. You're just trying to figure out all these equations that you need, so we'll try to stay on track with what's going on. So to find our velocity, we always know that velocity is equal to the change in position over change in time. How are we gonna do this? Well, we have a period, right? And it takes us 5,800 seconds to orbit the planet. And we know basically what that radius is, so we can find how far we go. So our delta x, basically we're trying to find the circumference, right? If we have our planet here, and then this is our orbit, we're trying to find the distance of this dotted thing. Delta x is equal to the distance of the dotted. So delta x is going to be the circumference of a circle, right? So that's 2 pi times the radius. So our radius is not just the radius of the planet. It's going to be the radius of the planet plus the, the uh, height above the planet that we are. So our height above the planet is this number, and our diameter is this number. So we're going to take the diameter and divide it by 2 to find the radius of the planet, and then add it to our height. So uh, I guess if I put an x here, so delta x is equal to 2 pi, and then our radius, so like I said, Diameter, 9.60 times 10 to the 6. Divide that by 2 to get the radius. And then add it to our height, 5.75 times 10 to the 5 meters. And you solve this, and you get delta x is equal to, I didn't solve that. Okay, but basically, did I solve this? Uh, I did solve this. 3, 3, 7, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Meters. You go a lot of distance, basically. Um, I simplified this number down to like three sig figs just so it's easier to write and understand what's going on. But anyway, we can take it back to our velocity here. So we say velocity then is equal to, you know, three, three, seven, zero, 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 zero. And you take that number and you divide it by the time, right? That's how long it takes to do one orbit. So five, eight, zero, zero. And you do this and you get that your velocity is 5,823 meters a second. So finally, we found velocity of the orbit, right? So now we go back to our equation over here, and we can plug all these in. So our radius, uh, basically, okay, so don't get this radius mixed up with the other radius. Uh, actually, no, yeah, don't get this radius mixed up either. This is the orbital velocity, so that means that we're gonna need to use the, uh, the radius of our total radius, right? Um, yeah, so to take this radius, so mass of the planet is equal to, so let's go ahead and 
So a radius is not just the radius of the planet, it's the total radius of how far out we are plus the radius of the planet. So once again, it's going to be that, um, so it's going to be 9.60 times 10 to the sixth divided by 2 to get our radius of our planet, and then add that to 5.75 times 10 to the fifth to get the radius of our height. And that's our total radius, that's the, the radius of our orbit. And then you're going to multiply that to find the velocity, which we just found, 5, 8, 2, 3, and then square that. And then you're going to take all that and divide it by the gravitational constant, which is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. That's a constant you should probably know. And then that's going to give you the mass of the planet, which is equal to 2.73 times 10 to the 24 uh, in kilograms. Boom, okay, mass of the planet has been found. We can go back all the way, circle back to this equation. Um, do I need this? No, uh, probably not. Okay. Oosh. All right, so we have this stuff now. Let's solve it. So gravity, gravity. this is gonna be equal to 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11, gravitational constant once again, times the mass of the planet, we just found that. 2.73 times 10 to the 24, then divided by the radius of the planet squared. So um, this is not the radius of the orbit. This is just the radius of the planet. So don't get this mixed up again with your radius of uh, the orbit. We're just trying to find the radius of the planet on this equation. So this radius is that again, 9.60 times 10 to the sixth divided by two. You can just use the normal one, I guess, and then square that. So then you're gonna find this is equal to uh, I'm going to make sure that yeah, I'm putting my numbers right. Yep, so this is going to be 7.9 meters a second squared. Great, so gravity here is a little lighter than it is on Earth. That's a pretty good number. If you get like a million, you're probably like very heavy. It's probably not a good mass or a good, good gravity constant. So all that's left is to plug it into our final equation that we started with. So force is equal to the mass of the astronaut, which is 85.6, and then multiply that by 7.9. And you're going to get a force of the astronaut is 677 newtons. Oof. Yeah, that was a big problem. Uh, yeah, so I love these problems that kind of unwind themselves, right? So you start with one equation, and you're like, okay, I need one more equation. And then from there, you need one more equation, one more equation, one more equation. And then you start slowly working your way back up the problem. It's really satisfying. Uh, I like it. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Good luck on your physics homework. If you have any struggles, feel free to come to me. I got some, you know, you can ask any questions or scroll through my playlists. And yeah, so see you guys next time.